session we look upon how to fetch the MySQL data and display it on a web page. For example, consider uh, I'm having the mobile data, something like this, consisting of brand, model, RAM, internal storage, battery and processor. Now I want this data to be displayed on the browser using the PHP. So what I will do first. I need to create one connection between the MySQL uh, server and the web page. For that, we will be using MySQL Connect. Now, before that, uh, let's first create the page. So, let's consider this. I'm using the editor as Sublime Text. You can use editor of your choice. And it's a blank page. So, let me save this first as fetch data.php okay now for the very first thing that you must do is cross check whether your local server is working so first open localhost and check whether it is working yes it is working then my parent folder is php chaps so let me open that PHP chaps folder and in that page I should be able to see my this file name of file is fetch data it's empty right now so let's first open that file yes fetch data is there and I'm trying to open it yes the file is open nothing is getting displayed because we haven't written any code so let's first uh, use some HTML code and uh, first cross check whether it is displaying uh, let's consider the following is the, the following are the details of mobile phones let's consider we want to display this the Rakun will uh, display everything so first let's cross check yes it's getting displayed now coming back to the code first you create the table so table with header t all right and uh, header consisting of we want four things to be displayed brand model ram processor internal storage and might be the battery so let's consider like this brand that is the first attribute let's cross check with the table yes we are having brand model ram internal storage battery and processor so brand model then uh, ram internal storage so what we do we use one break statement between internal and storage so that uh, internal and storage it will come on the next line thereafter battery and processor okay so these are my headers so first let's cross check whether it's getting visible the page yes it is getting but right now everything is clustered together because uh, we haven't done uh, we haven't said that should be the space utilized by that or width of this header part so what we do first uh, open the body and this body will consist of row all right and the columns so let's consider this is a column of uh, brand so brand uh, let me say width of brand as 10% uh, so I can give here or else I can give either of them let me have over here itself let's consider style width as 10% then model let me say again uh, let me say 20 percent ram 10 percent oh i have written pixel let's check i'm seeing percent similar percent over here then internal storage 10 percent more than sufficient 
battery 10% and last processor some description would be there so let's consider we use we say 20% now cross check refresh this page once again yeah now it is started so let's uh, fetch the details now what we want we want these details to be displayed in these columns so we want to have six columns we cause brand model ram internal storage battery and processor six so we are having six columns but we cannot directly fetch the details first what we need to do we need to have one connection between the page and the mysql server so open php tag over here and in that php tag first you get the connection so let's consider on is the connector and we use mysqlite connector or mysql connect and to this uh, we need to pass four parameters first your name of your server now name of my this server is localhost so localhost it's the server then username it's a root password uh, password is up to you what you have whatever you have set for your uh, this uh, root user and then the name of your database uh, my database over here is demo so I'll just show you let me save this look uh, name of my database is demo in which I have stored uh, this table mobile. Let's come back to the code. Then I need to have the query. What I need to do? So my query is select star from mobile. I don't want to have a conditional clause over here. I want to select everything. So it will be select star from mobile. Anyway, you have to be very much careful. Uh, related to the case of the attributes or uh, the table names the I have written mobile in capital in the database so the same I need to follow through this code if I write if I write M in small case it won't execute all right and now let's fetch the record now we will fetch that record by using my SQLI query or execute the above statement and fetch the record in a result set so let's consider the result is my result set and here I'm going to, to fetch the record so or execute the above query so mysqli query and to that query I'm passing connector and my query connector is con and query is sql now with this your connection is done uh, with the first part your connection is done and with this mysql underscore query uh, your result is fetched now you want that result to be you, you already have the result now you want to pick up row by row okay so for that purpose, we'll pick up first row we'll display it the contents of that then we'll go with the second row we'll display the contents so for that purpose what we'll do we'll use while loop now we are using html along with php so uh, you need to specify where you are going to use html and where you are going to use php so moment you are going to not use php close that tag so right now i'm going to use the php tag and let me close here also because i need to be very much specific so while what I'm going to do, I'm going to fetch the result row by row. So to fetch the result, we use MySQLi, MySQLi, uh, MySQLi underscore fetch association or fetch array, fetch array from where from result this is what we have specified and we'll save this in a row so let's consider I'm using variables as rows 
and I am opening this and I will close this not over here but at the end so I will use another PHP tag and let me close this also so in this tag I will close it so what happened first result is getting a fetch first row is fetch I will display it then I will go to the next row then I will fetch that data I will display it here okay this is how it goes now in this td field I am going to display that data now if you want to display again I am going to use the php code or a php tag over here so php let's consider open and close so let me copy and paste this first and then we will look upon how to make those changes okay now to display anything on the page we use echo function so use echo and what we want to display brand now brand is again the attribute name of this array rows so echo rows and in single case I will write brand I can use double quotes also that's not an issue so brand let me copy this similarly after brand we are going to display model then ram internal storage battery and processor these are the fields of your table or attributes of your table so brand model ram then internal storage I have written one thing over here battery and the processor let's cross check processor okay so let's cross check this uh, save this all and then go to browser and refresh it oh some error it's not getting displayed where is there a localhost root my username and password is proper and name of the field is also proper just a second might be a small error my oh here it is my SQLI spelling mistake no not yet my SQLI connect my SQLI connect is it working properly here yes happens sometimes okay here you go so we are getting details everything but it's not properly arranged so what we can do is we first of all we require borders also and uh, some padding is required so that's a decoration part you can do over here you go in uh, head field and over there you can uh, just include style and uh, for table let's consider a border of one pixel solid similarly padding let's consider it's 10 pixel and we want to have border for both the header and this one so let's consider th td and tr for everything we want the border border of let's consider one pixel solid so let's save and refresh this page oh there are double lines so we need to collapse the border so in table what we'll do we'll go here and we'll give border collapse property as collapse i think that's more than sufficient 
okay very good uh, two more things uh, ram uh, internal storage and memory i think this would be better if we align them at the center so we can use the text align property and uh, ram and this internal storage in my sql it's written only if you uh, if i show you the scheme of this uh, ram internal storage and battery these data types are of int okay because of which you are showing only values but if uh, while uh, in providing some information we need to specify ram in terms of gb similarly we are uh, related internal storage that is a rom again gb and battery as milliamperes so what we can do we can put that gb and milliamperes in html tag in over here ram let the value get displayed and thereafter let's have gb rom also let's consider gb and here milliamperes so M E, and secondly, we want text of this RAM internal storage and battery to be center aligned. So we can use style property over here. Style uh, text align. Uh, let's consider center. So let me copy this and save it. okay now let me refresh bingo we got it so this is how we basically uh, fetch mysql data and display it on a php so basically what you require uh, that you need to have one connector and that connector uh, we create by using mysql underscore connect to that we need to pass four parameters your local host uh, your admin or the username password and name of your database then uh, you need to have one sql query or sql string now that string i provided over here as dollar sql and this is the string select star for mobile then you need to fetch that re result set now we fetch that result set by using mysql underscore query to which will pass two parameters one is connector parameter and second one is sql now whatever that result set is that those result set is getting stored in this variable now from that result set we want to fetch the result row by row so for that purpose we use mysql fetch array method and uh, to this method we'll pass that result set so output of this nothing but it's going to fetch uh, record by record so this is how we uh, fetch and display uh, the data from mysql to the php page kindly like and subscribe if you have any doubt, uh, then you can put it in the comments. Thank you.